I'm going to go up to file. I'm going to go to import. And once you click on import, open up audio. Uh, once we click on import audio, you'll see this. I'll bring it up some so you can see a little better. And I'm going to go to my PC. And I know it should be in my downloads. I'm going to go to downloads. And the file is called ES Come Out Tonight. Um, artist name was Vicky Vox. And I'm just going to bring it in. Now, this is the instrumental. And it should be original. Okay, and I'm going to press open. All right. Now, when you get a track like this, you already know it's going to be hot. Like, you can look at the wave and tell it's going to be hot. So, to compensate for this, what I would like to do is I would bring the gain down of this. And so, you can click on the track. To the left, you'll see the gain knob. And then you can turn it down some. And the reason why is because I don't want this blast in your ears off. So I'm just going to bring it down and I'll bring it up as I need it. So let's listen to it. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn the record button off so we can see the signal from it. Okay. Now, if I'm going to plan on doing any effects or any processing or anything to this, I'm going to make sure that I have this at a good volume or a good gain level. So I've already reduced it to negative seven. That tells you exactly how hot it is. What I'm looking for is I want it to be the same thing. I want it to be you know, negative three, negative six, negative nine, negative 12, anywhere between that part. And the reason why is because if I add like an extra Q on here, or if I add some extra effects on here, um, you know, I might want to mix it a little different, you know, so I might want to make room sonically for that to happen. But for right now, if you're not worried about doing anything to the track, you're just going to use it as is, then yeah, get it as high as you can, uh, just so it's not peaking. Like I don't want it peaking. Okay. Okay, I don't want it right there for right now. 